The characters, places, and events portrayed in this motion picture are fictional. Any similarity to real persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Allison, don't forget to drink your juice. Now, you heard me. Bye-bye, everybody. I'm on my way. Bye, honey. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. Oh, honey, don't forget to buy some charcoal for tonight, okay? Okay. Bye, Daddy. Bye. How was your weekend? Not bad. Went to the Packers game. They pulled it out in the last minute. How about you? Kind of quiet. I did some work around the house Saturday. And, uh, uh, Sunday, Marsha and I took Allison to the park. You know, that kid is really something else. She brought this uh, sculptor home from school, you know, one of those clay things, and uh, <laughs> it was really terrific. So I said, honey, that is a great looking dog. She says, no, daddy, it's an elephant. <laughs> hey, sounds like your kid's got a lot of talent. Oh, yeah. Hey, I want to stop by Sorensen's on the way home tonight. I got to pick up some charcoal. And I want to take a look at that 12 gauge he's got. I'd love to have that with me on our hunting trip. Yeah, only two more weeks to go and we'll be on our way. Boy, I can hardly wait. Hey, nice going, Jimmy. Beautiful. Duke Amani went right to it. So I knew we were in the money. <laughs> then this guy, Richard's dog, he goes out. You know, he's, he's the guy who's always blowing off about this dog of his. Yeah. Well, he, about 50 yards out, he spots a rabbit. <laughs> he takes right off after him. Oh, jeez, was he mad. <laughs> Thought he was going to have a stroke. Hey, what's the rush? You're going to get picked up. Yeah, that's all I'd need. I got a call about 4 o'clock this morning from the plant. Packaging machine is down. Oh, I hope they got it going by now. Yeah, well, it's all right with me. I wouldn't know what to do with the stuff if I, if I had it. I haven't got any cars to ship it in. I had to reject 10 of them Friday. Oh, they were all beat up, filthy. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a long day for all of us, including the Bears. Did you see him give that game away to the Packers yesterday? Hi, 
Frank? Good morning, John. Sure had a rough night. Number three packaging machine still down. Oh, no, I was afraid of that. How much longer? Well, they say it'll only be a little while. What happened? Broken cam. Broken cam? That's twice this year. I wonder what would cause that. I told them to give me a call when they're ready. The last time this happened, we lost over a thousand cases. I got some more bad news for you. Hmm. Smitty called, said he'd be two hours late. Shh. I'm way ahead of you, though. I got one of my guys to stay until Smitty gets there. <laughs> hey, thanks, Frank. I owe you one. I think I'll take a look. I'll see you in the morning. See you, John. We just got line number three going again. Do you want to send one of your guys down to take a look? Okay, we'll do that Good. right now. Here, Duke. Come on. Come on. There you go. That's good stuff. Yes, Mrs. Phelps, I know she was perfectly normal this morning, but well, right now she's running a fever. She's got cramps. Now, I think you should come and get her and put her right to bed. No. Well, no I, I really think you should call your doctor. I don't really know what it is, but she's pretty sick. Harry Phelps. Yes. Hey, hi, honey. Harry, Allison is very sick. Um, we're at the hospital now, and um, 
They're pumping her stomach. I'll be right there. Hi, honey. Where is she? Is she gonna be all right? No. What's happening? Well, they said that um, it was something that she ate and that it was that it was food poisoning. What the hell does that mean, food poisoning? Well, what can we do? Well, there's not. They're in there with her now, and, and they're, they're pumping her stomach. Honey, take it easy. They said that we could just wait. <laughs> no. Take it easy, huh? She's such a baby. She's so little. <laughs> I don't know what to do. She'll be all right, honey. Don't worry. I'm so glad you're here, Harry. <laughs> Looks terrible. Come on, George. Would you want your kids to eat out of that? John, you better take a look at this. No, oh, no. It's, it's almost quitting time. I'll get it tomorrow. Boy, am I glad today's over. Yeah, me too. I'm getting out of here before anything else goes wrong. John Miller, come to the office. John Miller. Come I to left the five office. minutes ago. Where's Duke? Uh, I don't know how to tell you this. Tell me what? I, I tried to call you, but... Uh, tell me what? Well, it, it's about Duke. Well, what about Duke? Oh, well, after you went to work this morning, I, I fed him like I usually do. And... Judy, what's the matter with Duke? But Duke's gone. John, I'm sorry. Judy, no. Please. Oh, what happened? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? The vet said it was... It was probably something in his food. Something in his food? What'd you do? Give him some new kind of garbage? No, I fed him the same thing we've always fed him. I went out for about an hour, and, and when, when I came back, he was... He, he was just lying there. There. I don't believe it. It just isn't possible. I, I called the vet, and he said to bring him over. John, I, I, could, I couldn't even lift him. So I, so I called the vet back, and, and he was here in 20 minutes. Well, what did he say? Huh? That could kill him. Yeah, hello? Yeah, Doc, we were just trying to figure out. 
You found what? How, uh, how would he get something like that in his food? You, you mean to tell me that he, he could swallow something like that? Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. Uh-huh. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Yeah, that's what the doc said. Food poison. Is that unreal? Some companies just don't care what goes on in their plants. I wonder how those guys would like it if one of their kids got sick. They probably don't let their own product in the house. We take more care with this stuff than some guys do with food. I've heard some stories. I've heard some stories you wouldn't believe. You wouldn't believe it. What they found in his stomach. Now, the vet said it was something he swallowed. In his food. What a way to go. We better get going. You want to check that dough mixer? We've been having trouble with it. Sure thing. Right after I wash up. See you later. You know, even Allison's doctor didn't know where she got it. Food poison. Could have been anything she ate. Some guy not being careful. They really don't, they just don't understand how important the little things really are. I understand the FDA is really starting to put the heat on these food companies, and I'm all for it. They had to really come down hard on those clowns. You know, we had to shut down one of our lines for an hour yesterday, because the stuff didn't look like it was supposed to. And this is dog food. Oh, uh, you take a right here. Boy, I can't wait to try out this new 12-gauge, see how it feels. Probably not too good the way you shoot. My shooting is going to be all right. It's this dog of yours I'm worried about. Don't worry about the dog. He'll be just fine. Why don't you take him in and get us a couple of beers, and I'll get us a good blind for tomorrow. That's quite a dog you got there. <laughs> yeah. Belongs to a friend of mine. Hey, bartender, when you get a chance, can I have a couple of beers, please? Coming up. Now, it makes you feel kind of sad, eh? I had a lab just like that big guy. He was killed. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, he died. You should have seen what they found in his stomach. You know, it's funny. Uh, my little girl is just getting over a case of food poisoning. Thank God nothing went wrong. She's coming along pretty good. You know, I don't understand it. With all the money they can spend on research, you think... They'd find a way. Yeah, yeah. Some guys just don't give a damn. 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 Boy, ain't that the truth? The truth. The truth. The truth. The truth. The truth. The truth. Bartender, this one's on me. Hey, Mike. Come on in. I want you to meet a friend of mine. Characters, places, and events portrayed in this motion picture were fictional. Any similarity to real persons living or dead was purely coincidental. Maybe.